this is the worst cancer alley in the United States. That's horrible. Every day I hear of somebody else who has cancer, or their spouse has cancer, or their aunt has cancer, or their grandmother has cancer, or they're on a respiratory machine to survive. My grandkids have respiratory problems. My children, myself, my husband, my mother, she's gone. I'm just grateful that my treatments and all kept me here with my cancer. But when I found out I had cancer, and I went to my mom's house that evening, and she turned around, she said, well, Sheena, look at me. And she was like a 14-year survivor. But maybe three years later, hers came back and killed her. It's, it's the environment. It's everything we breathe. And we don't realize that we breathe in it because we've been doing it forever. It's normal, basically. I'm not saying it is normal. I'm saying we're taking it as normal because we don't know any better. We don't smell anything else. And then sometimes it's very strong. I live on oxygen. And that's because of where I live. You know, you're not worried about the citizens, the people of the parish. People of reserve, they're not worried about us. They want, they're making their dollars. And that's what's important. That's what companies do. You know? That's what they do. They make their money. I mean, they know all of this is going on. But still, constantly, what are they doing? Making their money. Get them out of town.